What up, everyone? Welcome to Reseller TV. Today we are doing an unboxing of a storage unit I just bought, a $70 storage unit. And with the big stuff that I pulled out and then the last, I think I did two videos on this already. I'm not 100% sure. I think I did two videos uh, unboxing some stuff. And there's some just mostly clothing, I believe, is what I, only thing I've really uh, unboxed so far. And with the clothing, I had two pairs of Carhartt vintage made in usa car that i didn't really show on the last video because i was kind of just pulling stuff out uh, but i've listed those for 50 dollars each on auction we'll see um it looks like between 50 and 100 is what they uh generally sell for we'll see um sorry there's a big ass spider up there um, anyways uh the, with that and then i found some um, a van's hoodie and some other and like a raider's blanket and some other stuff so that so i have after everything, oh yeah, there's a $200 picture that I looked up when I listed. Um, this is just so far, we're at about $1,455 on $70 spent. We're going to go through three more things out of that unit. We have, and I have probably, I think if, if you remember me in the last video, I said there was, there was uh, like four boxes of just old food that has, unfortunately the storage unit would have been banging if it wasn't for if those were filled with something else instead um oh yeah there was some like electronics and stuff on the last video now that i remember um but anyways let's get into some more stuff all right i haven't really looked i haven't looked at any of this stuff so this is all new this is like denim wrangler workwear vest oh that should give me and it's a hooded one i haven't actually seen one of those so i don't know maybe 30 bucks 35 bucks on that um you know depending on the i usually sell blankets if they have some sort of like cool thing on them some kind, but i don't know i might list some of these blankets they're actually not that hard to ship or anything like that uh okay it's made in usa okay all right all right looks like another one that has a pattern on it i'm gonna see yeah i'm gonna they look like they're in good condition make sure they get washed and everything and i'll throw those up for sale why not like I said, they're not too hard to ship. Uh, something in Japan. The highest mountain in Japan. Uh, 20 bucks on that prob. Some Wrangler pants, 20 bucks. Adidas joggers, 15. Looks like we have some thermal pants. Um, what is that? Dad. Mm, probably donate that. Some Nike dry fit shorts, 10 bucks. It's a vain original outfit. I've never heard of that one brand before, and I do a lot of clothes, a lot of stuff, and still never heard of that. And then we have some Levi Strauss, so another 15 20 bucks on those. Cool. So, yeah, we'll go add these on to our Savane. Huh, I'll have to look that up. I don't, I've never seen those before. All right, looks like we have some cups and bowls. That's correct. Some Fire King made in USA. Some lids. Circle K employee cup. I don't know if those have any. What's funny is this will probably sell for like 20 bucks. <laughs> Even though I'm like, yeah, I don't know if this has value. But for some reason, some weird stuff like this sells. We got Wilton cake stuff. I do okay with that stuff. It's alright. Some bottles. I don't know. Roster. I, don't know. I don't know about any of that stuff, so we'll see. All right, okay, well, we got some uh, tooth or beer shit, whatever those are called. Q tips, excuse me. Cabela's, oh, that's probably a $30, $40 hoodie. Uh, this Oregon Ducks, is that a player? That might be a player issue. If that's player issue, this is probably a $100, $100 hoodie right there. I do really well with Oregon stuff. I don't know if you guys, if you guys watch my videos or know. What is this? Hugh? What the heck? New York, Los Angeles. Oh, Huff. Yeah, I've seen a couple of the Huff. I've never sold Huff before. But I've seen this person in their collection had a few different Huff items. I think it's like a, maybe a street brewery brand or something. Some No Boundaries. Actually, you know, I thought No Boundaries being a Walmart brand. It, not do that valuable which is it's not really but oh another van's jacket but i actually sell that no boundary stuff pretty everything i've listed actually sells just not for a lot what is something about okay, what is this this is okay we got some good good stuff in here that van's jacket 
I don't know the brand on this one. We got that Cadellos hoodie, the Oregon hoodie. Some kind of outfitter. I don't know. Can you guys see that? I'm not really sure what brand that is, but it's a nice jacket. They've got some j good jackets. Dude, this storage unit is... I was a little discouraged with all the food, that old food that was in here, but... Oh, St. John's Bay. Oh, that's a quilted. I'll probably... I'll get at least 20 bucks for that. Come on, Dickies workwear jacket. Okay, that's a good 30, 40 bucks probably. Nosh. What else we got in here? Chicago leather. Chicago Bulls leather jacket. Let's go. Oh, it's an and oh, it's an unk. Thought I was hoping it'd be like a starter or something. But you know what? 50 bucks. Easy on this. Could be more, actually. This is pretty nice. Is that wool? It doesn't say. That's wool, uh, Letterman jacket, Chicago Bulls Letterman jacket. Let's see. Nah, that's polyester. That's okay. 50 bucks. Cool. Well, uh, we got some good stuff. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. We'll uh, pull out a couple more uh, things to go through. I don't think I have too much more from this, uh, this unit, but we have a few more things to go through. So I'm going to get this stuff pictured, and I'll have that other stuff uh, filmed here soon.